What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video, man. It's your boy, Shabby Shouter. Y'all already know the tag, man. Welcome back to another video, man. And we are on the way to CarMax, as in we, me, and you, because you coming along with me. We on the way to CarMax right now, man. We, uh, we rich, man. We up. Big coin is through the roof. So, uh, yeah, man. Ain't no need to hold on to the ZL1 no more, dog. You know what I'm saying? We gonna go ahead and sell the ZL1, man. See what we can get for this thing today, man. And you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it might be time to go get a Lambo this weekend, man. It might be time to go cash out on the Lambo, man. Yeah, man, the whole thing, man. So we gonna take we gonna take the ZL1 up here to uh, CarMax. See what they talking about, you know what I'm saying? Before I take it to a Chevy dealership. And uh, see what they offer here. We're going to see what CarMax talking about. A lot of people say that Car CarMax gives you some good offers. So, we're going to see. We're going to see what they're talking about today. I'm um, going to one down here on the south side. So, we're going to see what their market look like. I might browse a lot and look at their inventory and see what's going on. Uh, yeah, man, we on the grind right now, man. I told y'all we pumping our videos, man. I'm bringing more content to y'all. Trying to get outside, think outside the box, do some other videos that I don't normally do myself. Um, so you know, just put my own spin on it. I see what other people do. You know, I put my own spin on it. We'll, we'll see how I do. But like I told y'all, if you're not already subscribed in previous videos, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for post notifications, hit the thumbs up for me, please. It don't cost you a dime. Just a little bit of your time. I appreciate it, man. It helps me out tremendously. And, um, you know, that's like my that's, that's my reward for my work. You know what I'm saying? That's motivation for me to keep going. When I see the likes match the video views, then we in, we headed in the right direction. It, it means a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? I love when y'all tune in. I love when y'all comment. You know what I'm saying? It just gives me the motivation to keep going. And don't stop. So, you know, it made me want to pick up the camera and keep vlogging. As I told y'all before, we're working on getting a new camera so the video quality will get upgraded eventually. Um, so, you know, the more videos I put out, the closer we get towards that goal. So, we just going to keep it pushing. But once we get up here to, to CarMax and we get something going, I'll turn y'all back on, man. In the meantime, between time, I'm going to ride out to this Nipsey. So we finna park next to my bro. We finna park right next to this guy. That boy, that boy, that bought that motherfucker brand new, boy. Boy, I see you, my boy. My boy done bought him a motherfucking SF with the big wang on that thing, boy. That boy got the big wang on that thing, boy. Okay, stop playing with my boy. Stop playing with twin. Stop playing with twin and them. You know what I'm saying? My buddy got him a brand new SS. Boy, we finna check that thing out real quick. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think they him walking up. We finna check it out real quick, though. Y'all hold on real quick. Take this thing off the mount. Y'all know um, what you call be tripping. Comrades be tripping on the video. Give me a trip. Let me see. I'll take the paper off out here. Hold on, y'all. Let me uh, throw this back down the back real quick. You know what I'm saying? Give me a hot second. Oh yeah, that boy tough. That boy tough. Let me get y'all right. That boy tough. Okay. Yeah, y'all see the difference though. Okay, my boy got him an SS. 
All right, man, let's get straight to bidding, man. I ain't finna hold y'all up. Uh, we finna walk in here and see if we can find a salesman or somebody. See if they can get us some, some stuff going. Oh, okay, okay. So it was in, uh, probably beginning of February. Yeah, okay. Congratulations to them. <laughs> I got it. I said, you got a Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know the difference. <laughs> I see y'all got two other ones out there. Yeah, I know you. Okay. Hey, a whole lot more than that for it. But yeah. That's a wholesale appraisal. Okay. And uh, several different places online. You can look at your online appraisal. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's valid for seven days. Uh -huh. The only thing it's saying is the car needs a front rear tire replaced. Yeah, yeah. And that, there's no issue with the vehicle. Yeah. It's just that. Uh, Every new car you buy, yeah. it appreciates. Yeah. You drive off a lot. Yep. Now it's a wholesale appraisal, so your retail will probably be it'll be in the sixty if you retail. Yeah. So it's somebody direct. Yeah. That's our figure from our appraisal back then. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. And this good for seven days, you said. Yeah. Okay. It's good at any CarMax. Take to any CarMax in the country. Yeah. This final offer, it won't go up. What if I said, let me get two on there and then I'll sell? Is there room to do that? Uh, unfortunately, we don't negotiate any pricing or any services. Yeah. The that was, Dang, uh, I can't give me the two on there. Well, I mean, that's, uh, they're saying, Tyler are not that big of a deal. Yeah. That's part of the value of the But they said that's why. You know, part of it. We buy them wholesale. We may get it for like 30, 40 bucks each. Yeah. They retail for about 60. Uh -huh. But that's like 240 dollars. The whole scheme of thing, that's not enough to really yeah. change the uh, the, the price dynamic. on the totality. Yeah. But, uh, like I so, said, yeah, there are some online appraisal systems. So just check them out. Yeah. And get the best deal. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna probably take it to a Chevy dealership and then start getting online and figure out how much they. Yeah. Now dealerships, they can. Uh, people ask the question. I had a lady the other day. She said, "Well." Why shouldn't I go ahead and buy new? I said, well, okay, let's compare. Apple to Apple, no matter what the car is. Right, right. Whenever you buy a new car, okay. as soon as you drive off the lot, you got to appreciate and have that very moment. Yeah, as the first owner. Yep. You never get that money back. Now, you buy the car used, like every one year, two years, three years, somebody has already paid that depreciation. Yeah. So, when you look at over long term, which one's cheaper, yeah. it's still going to be cheaper used because somebody paid that depreciation. Yeah. The more expensive the car, the higher the depreciation amount is. Yeah. yeah. That's just, now, what dealerships can do is they have more tools to lower your monthly payment. Yeah. Because what happens is a manufacturer gives them what they call manufacturer call. Manufacturer pullbacks. Yeah. And they'll say for this vehicle here, we'll give you 750 bucks. Yeah. Not on yeah. the books, yeah. but you can use a UC fit. You can use it to buy down an interest rate. You can use it as a discount. You can use it uh, any way you feel, and you can add it to somebody's trade-in value to make it look like it's more what it's worth. But, <laughs> yeah. but they do have the ability to get you a lower payment. However, you can still pay more on that long term because yeah. they can put a balloon payment at the end of the loan. Yeah. And all it's doing is getting your monthly payment down. And that's yeah. what some people are telling about. you. Yeah. And and they ain't telling you that. Right. Yeah. You go pay more for it. So, yeah, uh, yeah. In the long run. Yeah. So when I explained it to her, I said, let me tell you how that works. I used to work for a new Nissan dealership many years ago. Yeah. And they just have more tools to get your payment down. Yeah. But your overall cost will be higher. Yeah. So you know, check out all your options. You know, look okay. online. See, a lot of companies give you online appraisals. So yeah. Check Chevrolet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I appreciate right, you, brother. Man, Thank care. you for your time. Right. Man. Take care. All right. Perfect. I ain't even catch that. Got a panther on the tail on the spoiler. All right, all right, y'all. So this was my appraisal. They ended up offering me. Like, y'all know I paid way more for the car than this. So, like y'all heard in the audio. Like I was trying to get him to see if we can get it at least to another 2K. And hey man, we might be in the ballpark, you know what I'm saying? We might be talking about something then. But uh, like he said, they don't really negotiate on prices and stuff like that. But I think if I talk to a finance manager, they probably, probably would tell me uh, they'll, they'll go with, let me get y'all set up real quick, man. So. I was trying to get the salesman to see if we could get like another 2K on that quote, just to round it up to a 60 ball. And you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, I go and see what else I can get uh, for somewhere else. I could probably, I'm I'm thinking it's a 23, it's got 10,000 miles on it now. 
I'm thinking I could get at least 65 for it. At least 65K. I, I think, I think I, you know what I'm saying? I think I could get 65K for it. I, I believe that's what I could get. So that's why I was trying to get him to at least like, hey man, can y'all pump it up to two? Like, man, go talk to your folks back there and see what they could work out, man. Instead of having me drive all over the place, man, trying to see what's up and, and wasting time and energy. So, oh no, man, we gonna see, man. We gonna see what's up, y'all. So I might try out a Chevrolet dealership and see what they talking about. And then uh, might do some little search engines or whatever. And, and we'll go from there, man. But yeah, cause I'm definitely, definitely trying to get a Lambo pretty soon, man. But y'all give me one second, man. My mouth is hurting from the dentist, so I'm trying to give me something to drink to try and put some chill on there. All right, y'all, back to what I was saying. So, basically, CarMax gave me a 58K offer on the car as is. Uh, he, you heard him. He said, number on the car. I just need some front tires. Uh, that's about it. But... I ain't gonna lie, that's not a bad offer because I know I could talk them up to at least giving me 60K. I'd take 60, I'd take 60. And then, you know, we'd, we'd jump into another car, you know what I'm saying? That would be the most logical move. Sell the car and jump into something else, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't think that was a bad offer uh, considering, you know, I thought they were gonna be more like in the, I ain't gonna lie to you, like they were gonna try me like low, uh, low 50s or uh, high 48s or you know, something like that, 47. I, I really, that's what I really thought they were gonna try me with. I thought they were gonna try me with like a, a 48, 47. Man, I was, boy, hey, look, man, come on now, stop playing. These the last of the last of the last. And I got one of them ones. This ain't no regular ZL1 like them two that you got back there in the back, buddy. This this is him. You know what I'm saying? This is him. These is not add-on parts. I didn't add these canards. I ain't add that wing. This is that package. You know what I'm saying? So this is a little extra. This got a little extra stank on it. You know what I'm saying? So, but they offer was legit, though. I, I, I can fool with that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I'd be interested to see what a Chevy dealership would give me. Or these other little, uh, like he told me to go online and look at them other uh, companies. I forgot their name. Like Rooms. You got Room. Uh, I think Carvana. I think they do it. So I might plug and play some of that and see what they talking about. Because I think I like one of my other cars I sold before. I think it was either Room or Carvana gave me more than what CarMax was trying to give me. And then I ultimately ended up selling it to a Dodge dealership. So, yeah, that's what happened with that one. So, um, so I know it's people out there that'll give you more money than CarMax. So they not the final say. So just in case y'all didn't know or y'all was wondering where else you can sell your cars, you can go to Vroom. Instead of going to like big dealerships, you can go to Vroom, Carvana. And I think it's another place. I forgot what the name is, but these are online search engines. You just plug and play your info and then it'll automatically give you a, a quote for your vehicle. And then, of course, you got to go through final inspection once you hit the button and say, all right, I want to sell. But, I mean, it's not it's not that bad. So, like I said, they, they usually give you a little bit more than CarMax. It's not going to be a whole lot more. That's why I say I think I can get 65. At least 65, I think I can. I'm for sure knowing I can get 65. And then, you, and then you, even he said, if I sell it retail like myself, I can for sure get high 60s for it. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't tripping. We know we sitting on a we sitting on a bag of money right now in, in a car. So you know, any day if I want to sell, then you know I can come up on a little bag. Um just like the guy at the Lambo dealership, the Lambo guy asked me, he was like, basically he was asking me all these questions, trying to figure out if I wanted to trade in the Camaro for the Lambo that I was looking at. And then at that time and place, I was like, nah, I ain't trying to do that. I don't want to trade in the car because I know y'all not going to give me what it's worth. You're going to lowball me just to make it seem. Well, they're going to take the car as a trade in, but you're going to lowball me. But you're going to try and make me feel good like you did me a favor by buying the car and 
trade it in, but it's yeah. They, they were gonna come out on top in, in that scenario. I'll put it to you like that. They were gonna come out on top. So I definitely wouldn't trade in the car for a Lambo. If I'm gonna get a Lambo, I'm gonna just put the cash down and do what I need to do to get the car. Like I'm not finna be trading in no car to try and get a Lambo. So Yeah, and then it'll be a used Lambo too. Just like just like uh the guy the salesman said got to let somebody else take the depreciation on those cars like that expensive cars definitely will be getting a used lamborghini it's not going to be nothing brand brand new it might have like a thousand miles on or something like that but i'm not buying nothing brand spanking new not on lamborghini um i'm probably looking like between uh 22 to like 2017 uh, 2017 to 2022 price uh year range what i what i'm looking to purchase i really want a technical and the technicals came out in 2023 so it's between it's between the technical and the evo them the two hurricanes that i want first so one of them two i'm getting first i don't want them lps i want a technical or evo i don't want the, i don't like the lp models give me a hurricane technical or a hurricane evo and we in the game yeah that's what I want for sure. And it's going to be purple. So y'all look out for that. It's going to be purple, yellow, and black interior for sure. If I can get the yellow calipers on there, we good, man. We good money. Yeah, man. That's it, man. That's it for the video, y'all. I appreciate y'all for staying tuned, man. I've been on the grind today, so if it look like I've been in the same outfit for three videos, it's because I have. But it's all in the same day. So I'm out here grinding. I told y'all, I'm bringing the content for y'all. Shot three videos a day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it is what it is, dog. We out here grinding, man. We on the road to 3K right now. We knocking on the door. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in, 3K. After that, man, we chasing down at 5K. So y'all share the video for your boy. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Once again, it's your boy Chevy Shoulder, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Peace out. I'm gone.